My name's Simon, I work for Chester Diocese as the Director of Ministry and one of the courses I'm involved with is a course called Foundations for Ministry which helps people uh, grow and develop in their faith and explore how they can serve God in the world and the church. And I'm here with Helen who did the Foundations for Ministry course last year. Uh, Helen, what made you come on the Foundations course? So I had been uh, working as a nurse in the NHS for... 35 years and retired in November. I knew that God wanted me to do something, but I wasn't really sure what he wanted me to do. Um, so I actually went on the call to serve day, which was mm -hmm. held at Fox Hill. And while I was there, I got a really strong feeling that um, a chaplaincy would be the way to go or a pastoral, licensed pastoral worker. Um, so <laughs> I decided the next step, or I didn't decide, the next step of doing either of those would be doing the Foundations for Ministry course, and that's why I applied to go on it. And what did you learn from doing the course? How long have we got? Um, so I learnt loads. Um, I think um, a couple of the, the, the big things around it um, were um, to to do as much as you can. Um, so, for example, we you can just go to Foundations for Ministry and do the the face-to-face -face meetings each week. Great. You get the opportunity to do preparation work for those sessions. Do it because that really helps um, um, what you learn. Um, and then there's also the assessed work. Um, and I found that probably the most useful. I kind of learned, you know, God doesn't necessarily want you to do things that aren't in your repertoire or aren't in things that you don't like to do. He's given you gifts and abilities to serve him. Um, and, and that, as I say, that was a massive light bulb moment because I suddenly realised actually, you know, these are the things I like. These are the gifts that I've been given. So what is it that I can do to, to use those? I don't need to be put in a box I can do other things that doesn't necessarily mean to be a licensed pastoral worker or a chaplain mm -hmm. or a clergy. I can support them in, in a very different way. And, and actually, my conclusion after doing all this was God wants me to do what I'm doing now, which is I'm currently a church warden at my local mm -hmm. parish church. I've been doing that for three years now. Foundations involves a lot of working with other people from other churches. How did you find that? Uh, they're amazing. I just have to say, the administration team, the the course leaders and the people on the course are just a phenomenal set of people. Um, there's so much uh, that you learn from each other. What Foundation for Ministry shows you is there is, you know, we are part of a church family that is so much bigger than your mm -hmm. local church. So people often think Foundations for Ministry is purely or mainly about people going into ordained or licensed ministry. Now, you've not done that. Do you think the course has still been a useful thing to do? Absolutely. Um, as I said, you know, I did think that I was going to go on to be a pas licensed pastoral worker or even ordained ministry mm -hmm. to be become a chaplain. Um, absolutely not. That is not where the Lord wants me to be. And um, having that confidence and knowledge and the growth in faith and the growth of knowing me, it's so worth going on to. So if you have to, if you're just even thinking about it, do it.